Hey guys, today we're going to be reviewing Authentic Happiness, written by Martin Seligman. Now, Martin Seligman wanted to write this book because for every 100 studies on negative psychology, there was only one on positive psychology. So he wanted to start pushing positive psychology. Around the time this book was written, we knew how to get people from unhappy to neutral, but we weren't too sure on how to get them from neutral to happy. So he says that there are two types of happiness, and the first I like to call hedonistic happiness. And this is basically seeking current pleasure, and this would be stuff like snowboarding or playing a game, having fun. It could even include stuff like eating chocolate, ice cream, indulging in drugs or sex. He takes a look at a lot of the lottery winners' lives, and he realizes after around three months, their happiness drops off. Now the second kind of happiness is lasting and meaningful happiness, and this kind of happiness lasts over a longer period of time. Now Martin Seligman and his psychology team went through and went through a whole bunch of stuff that could cause variables on happiness. Stuff like the country that someone's living in, the weather, marriage, social life, negative emotion, health, religion, and even education. They wanted to find out if any of this stuff contributed to happiness. But what they found is there's one secret, and the secret is that you have to find your strengths. And when you find your strengths, you apply them. And the better you get at finding your strengths and applying them, the happier you're going to be. You see, everyone feels good when they are complimented on something that they're good at. And over time, this can lead to lasting happiness. Because it'll make you feel like you have a purpose in the world. And this is what everyone seeks. There's also three types of jobs. Now, there's the first type of job, which is called literally a job. It's something like you're working 9 to 5 every day. It's where you go in, you work, and you come back out. And you're not really enjoying it, but you're doing it because you need the money. This is a job. Alright, the next is called an occupation, and this is a step up. Now most of the time, most occupations require a college education and you're paid on salary. There's also room for advancement so you can be promoted, but the thing about an occupation is that you don't necessarily love it. The third is a calling, and a calling is literally finding your strengths and putting them to use in the world. You can have a job, or you can have an occupation, and you may make your friends happy for you, or you may make tons of money, but you'll never be completely fulfilled and happy until you find your calling. Now, after studying people like Confucius and Aristotle and works of art such as the Bushida Samurai Code, the Bhagavad Gita, and even the Bible, they analyzed and they found that there are six core values that correlate to most people. These are wisdom, courage, love, justice, temperance, and transcendence. And I'll go into these later in the video. Now they are all subdivided and you can take tests. There's even a test in the book you can take to find what your strengths are. But as soon as you find that, you need to start searching for ways to apply your strengths. Apply these in work, apply these in your love life, and Martin Slugman suggests finding ways to apply them in raising children. And if you can do this in your work, love, and raising children lives, you will be completely fulfilled and live a very happy and meaningful life. Now his little advice on love is reading the book The Seven Principles for Making Marriage Work by John Gottman. And I'm definitely going to be reading this and reviewing it soon, so subscribe if you want to see that. So the big idea here, to be happy, is to identify your signature strengths, choose a job that allows you to use them every day, and stick with it. Now this goes the other way too, when you are hiring someone, if you're on the hiring side, try to find someone with good strengths that will fit the job. Because as we have seen in recent book reviews, happier people always do better. They lead to healthier lives, they live longer, and they're more efficient in their work. So I'm going to go over the six core values and the 24 signature strengths that are associated with them. The first is transcendence. Now the signature strengths that are associated with this are enthusiasm, forgiveness, humor, faith, gratitude, and appreciation. The next is temperance. And temperance would be something like being cautious, taking care in your life decisions, modesty also, and self-control. How well are you good at regulating your emotions? The third is justice, and justice is pretty easy. It's stuff like leadership, fairness, and loyalty. Some people are good at this, and some people are pretty selfish. The fourth is love. Obviously, love is love, kindness, and generosity. I think a good part of love is about giving and not expecting back. The fifth is courage, and some signature strengths of courage are honesty, perseverance, and bravery. You're more often to find people in battle that have these signature strengths. And the last is wisdom. Wisdom includes perspective, social intelligence, street smarts, open-mindedness, love of learning, and curiosity. Which I would say I definitely fall under the wisdom category a lot more than the others. Now I'm going to leave you with one quote that really stuck with me with this book, and I hope it resonates with someone else too. Martin Sligman says, Positive emotions alienated from character lead to emptiness. If you like this book review, click the like button, and leave a comment below of what you think your core values or signature strengths are. I hope you learned something and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.